Uh, welcome to the Render Stacks first production demo video. In this video, I will show you overall workflow of Render Stacks. Um, this scene, I imported a CAD model from GrabCAD and it has about 3000 objects and 6.7 million birds and 30 million tries. And I have a basic layer setup with the light, uh, camera, and ground plane and then trucks okay so let's make some passes so i'm adding new passes let's say cam a comma birds birds eye view so i made the two passes and for cam a let's control the camera so i'm adding camera pass modifier so i edit it and then i will choose camera one and for the birds, it automatically has a base camera, but I want to localize it. So I duplicate and then cam three. So camera three. So if you go cam A, it will use camera uh, one or one. And if you go birds, it will use camera three. So that's real basic of how render stacks works. And now let's control the resolution. So go cam A, tap, resolution. So 1920, 1080. Okay, good. I will use that. And but for birds, again, localize it. And I want to have this as a square image. So 1920, 1920. Good. So camera A, birds. So now I need two more camera. But I don't want to repeat this process again because Kame already have that. So I will duplicate two times. So this one I rename it. Cam B and this one. Cam C. And for the Cam B, I can use camera two. Cam uh, let's say use camera four. And for C, camera 2. So cam A, cam B, cam C, birds. I want to use um, 1400, 2000. And cam C, I want to use, okay, maybe a little more. Okay, so cam A, cam B, cam C, birds. So we have a camera resolution for all four passes. And but the, for the birds, I don't want to show the like a ground plane. So to control that, I I need a visibility P modifier. So P visibility. So. This is the dynamic selection method for render stacks. So anytime when you need to select something dynamically, the, you will see this UI, it provides eight ways of like, selecting object dynamically. I will use layer set, which is recommended way of working in render stacks. So I right click and I will choose light and only truck. So light and throw, okay, and then apply. See, so the ground plane is gone for the cam ABC. So this is using base visibility P modifier. So since it's all three pass, I will just update base one. So ground light throw. So light ground throw and apply now you your ground plane is back so cam a cam b cam c bird okay all good so now i want to have a different hdri hdri for abc so i need to have a different environment map so 
for that environment so I added environment pin modifier but it doesn't do anything because I haven't choose which property I want to control in render stacks you can control almost everything but you have to choose what control it doesn't blankly con try to control everything so right click add environment map and use environment map and background color because we will, we will change background color for bullseye so add it set so it sets for cam a turn on use environment map and let's open classic and we will use environment one for that so click get from the clash me okay so now you have environment so for can be so we can uh, localize it and this one is actually environment 3 so activate environment 3 get from classic and same for cam c 2 2 oh i need to turn on use environment map this is the same turn on use environment map okay okay so a b c d or first doesn't do anything but for this I don't want to use environment map but I want to use background color so I change the background color okay so good we set all the environment and background now let's have a different lighting setup for passes to set up different lighting I need to be able to control light on and off and light transform so I can control position and then light intensity so let's collapse the tree and then select four passes and let's add a light on and transform first so I have a light on and transform for each passes okay again we need to tell lender stacks to control which light to turn off we need to choose so add selected object and for transform same thing as selected object and if you go other pass p modifier the list already is synced so you can control the same object in all the passes all the time so now we can turn on and off light per passes like this and I can change it to this now if I go cam A, cam B you can see the light on and off changes so same for transform for transform you can move you can move you can move or transform you cannot type here so here capture all from the scene and so now can be can a can be so as you can see you can move around transform so the last thing was the light intensity so for that we will use object params and then sub name is multi because object param can control a lot of things you need to have a sub name to add multiple object param in a scene so i want to control base object intensity and i want to control all silly lights intensity so now if i go here let me localize it and you can change the value here 200 then if you go here it does 100 if you go here 
it was 200 okay so all set up and i will preview with the max 2021 uh, matte this the, the viewport matte material so you can see the shadow here so cam a cam b cam c well d will not have shadow because we didn't turn on ground plane so we see the preview and the last one we want to add is the render output so we add the render output only to the base because we will use token so we don't need to set up for each passes so i make it bigger so if i go render output so this is token it will show that i will put renders under project output and the uh, project folder render output and with the scene name folder pass name folder scene name underscore pass name is your render image file name and i'm using max frame buffer with the multi-channel exr setup let's preview all the passes that we have made so i have a uh, built-in all pass set so you can select all pass easily so when you preview renders text will use rs prv render that we released a few months ago as a free script so this is the setting for preview what it will turn up during preview and what kind of like a setting we will use so if you want to change the settings for this preview you use this it will share the data and then this setting will be used for that so let's see so i set to render at quarter reds and then here see as it renders there's a status bar that progress to show how much it has rendered so okay so that's third pass and that's fourth pass and done okay so all renders done and you see it pops up mr viewer because i installed mr viewer if you don't have mr viewer it will use lamp layer but mr viewer does better job so in mr viewer i can see all four passes preview so this is cam a the preview and renders it looks pretty close so in this video we s went through the basic workflow of the render stacks so we set the camera we set the resolution per pass we set the visibility what to see or not and then we set uh, each different environment for each passes and then we use light on and off and we use transform and then we use the we control the light intensity per pass so we can get different uh, regions for each passes so that's it that's what lenders text does you can have multiple configuration of your scene and then you can preview you can local render or you can let submit to the farm so for more details www.lenderstacks.com and thanks for watching